Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have Pride to be seen. This is an actually a, an episode of a much bigger series called Soul of a Nation, and this episode is hosted by Kara, I'm going to say her name wrong, Delavine, Kara Delavine, the model, actress, uh, and uh, LGBTQ member <laughs> like there's a like there's a membership card or an initiation or anything uh but yeah she's a uh, part of the community so uh this is i want to say it's a documentary but it's 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 more of like a tv special i don't know uh, th by the way this is uh that soul of a nation series is on hulu uh but this was specifically added to disney plus usually for Pride Month, and it was from 2022. It's 42 minutes long, and it basically just goes through the sort of different people's experiences, and it it works as a uh, as a, a means to encourage those who might be struggling and uh, those who, you know, with, with their sexuality, with their understanding of who they are. Um, it, it honestly, it starts off in Alabama, which, honestly, when it comes to anything good culturally, uh, with anybody's identity or sexuality or race or anything else, seems like the last place you'd want to be. Nothing against the lovely folks of Alabama, but in this sense, uh, there's a school. And it's not run by Charles Xavier, but for the most part, a lot of people might consider these kids mutants, uh, mostly because it's a school that's kind of a refuge that allows them to, uh, even though it's like an hour out of the way uh, for a lot of them to be bu bust in, uh, it allows them to go to school, have a prom, where there's they're not treated as freaks, or they're not treated as less than human. Uh, there's, by the way, the whole X-Men thing that I'm referencing, um, that whole X-Men thing came out in the 60s and was a metaphor for the uh, the rights of people of color and people of... Uh, uh, originally, I don't know if it necessarily was about gay rights, but I have a feeling it did really well at, at, at uh, transferring over uh, and being a much larger thing as the, as the series grew. Uh, the fact that it took so many decades before an actual gay character was in the X-Men is kind of a strange thing. But that's a whole other side thing I'm not going to talk about now. Um, <laughs> I mean, the metaphor was big enough. So, but, yeah. Anyway, in this, we see a number of different things. It seems like a, it's a compilation of like 2020, uh, a number of different other interviews. They, they go to the school in Alabama, and they interview a bunch of kids that... Tell their experience, being bullied, treated like garbage, and uh, seeing this place as a refuge, um, not from the real world, but allowing them to have the same aspirations as anybody else without threats on their lives. Yeah, and by the way, Alabama po politicians have done their best to use children to forward their bigoted, uh, often just super slimy uh political careers. Yeah, and you see some of that in this episode. Uh, and then you, you contrast it, and you're like, well, what's the big deal? These are just, it's, it's always a big deal. But it's for a reason, uh, because even though two days, I'm going to reference something from two days ago, the Generation X series, there was talks about how generation through Generation X, uh, People were able to come out of the closet and show their love, show, share who they were without it being criminalized. They were actually able to be married eventually. Uh, and one of the people in that stated, you had two choices when you were gay and a kid. Uh, one was stay in the closet or kill yourself. With the change in society they were given a third chance. And in this, unfortunately, they show a young man who, he looks so young. He he was gay. His mom, single mom, knew he was gay, raised him. And um, he knew who, who he was. Mom knew who he was and accepted him and loved him. But 
and even then she tells a story about how she got him a, a hoodie with a rainbow flag on it for Christmas and he hugged her so hard uh, knowing that she saw him as who he was and loved him. Something he was not getting at school. And in the end, what he was getting at school was so much more overpowering than anything else he got. And within months after that Christmas, he had killed himself. There is no reason. I don't care what your politics are. I don't care if you love or hate a single gay, trans, bi, poly, whatever. Whatever, whatever kind of person that you you come in contact with, there should never be adult, and especially a kid, who has to feel that the only way, um, the only option they have it in their lives is to end it. That is, there's, it should never be an option. That should never be a consideration. It's it's just so that's just early on in the thing in the uh, this documentary. It's like I said, it's like forty two minutes long, but it covers a little bit of history. It'll mention Stonewall, uh, the Black Cat in Los Angeles uh, is uh, where one of the uh, 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 interviews happens. Uh, they deal with uh, trans people, big hot button issue these days. They deal with drag queens, uh, so controversial. Um, People dressing up in wild outfits and wigs and makeup and dancing. And yes, they don't mention the reading to children in libraries, uh, which, yeah, is so dangerous now. Uh, but it's still, it, it's, uh, it, it shows you all facets, facets of the lives of real people, real human beings. So if it's something that you don't understand, or don't like, maybe it's your religion, maybe it's just your own sexuality that you haven't come to terms with. Whatever the reason is, if you want to understand a little bit better who pe people are in the LGBTQ plus community, this is a good thing to check out. If you already are a member of that, whether you're out or not, or you're just trying to figure it out, this is a good thing to check out and understand the other people's struggles, the things they went through, the decisions they made at different points in their lives, and um, how they came to be. They, they, there's a saying that is always that people that pass around for a while that seem turn kind of cliche that it gets better, and it, it does, and it can. For many people, it doesn't, unfortunately, but it doesn't mean uh, that you, you should give up. And the the message that uh, Kara drives home at the end is the fact that it, there are others out there like you. There is a community out there that will support you. And I think that's, that's a beautiful message to share uh, through this. Get to understand new people. Maybe, again, maybe you don't agree with it. Learn a little something. You may still hate them for whatever reason in the end and think it's all very gross and whatever else. That's, that's up to you, but at least you won't be uninformed. And hopefully you'll get to understand these people are as human as you are. So, again, if you have any thoughts of ending it because of who you are, I beg you, don't. Seek out people like yourself. Call. Just, whether it's a suicide hotline or something, uh, don't, don't choose death. It's just, you can make it better. And there's some fantastic people out there who can really change your life for the better. And so yeah, it's, it's worth your time. Let's pick tomorrow's episode. 32. 32. <clears throat> Dang it. <laughs> Another documentary. <laughs> this one's very different from this last one. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's... Yeah. At least, okay, we've had a lot of very different documentaries between Pride and, and, and Queens, which sounds like it would be the same thing, but it's not. It was all about lions and hyenas and such. 
<laughs> and before that, well, it's Generation X and things like that. So it's this is all over the place. This one, this one, I'm kind of I've, I've been very curious about uh, because I know a little bit about uh, this topic, but I have a feeling I'm going to learn a lot more. It's unfortunately couched in one of the world's greatest tragedies ever, but. So I don't expect to be laughing and finding this incredibly fun to watch, but it could be fun. It could be interesting. Let's just say it could be interesting. We'll find out when we watch Bin Laden's Hard Drive. <laughs> yeah, did you ever think that anything on Disney Plus would have the name Bin Laden in it? And I, if, if, this, if there's like an AI thing that's scraping this entire video for... <laughs> for content, for words. There's so many trigger words in this thing all together between uh, suicide and Bin Laden and just uh, all these different things. I'm sorry. Hopefully this thing will not get blocked because I said words that are not meant to be offensive in context. Anyway, let's pick... Uh, let's. Uh, I already picked it. Let's come back here tomorrow when I'll talk about Bin Laden's hard drive and the next Disney Plus Liberty Challenge. I'll see you back here with that.